I think beats for the age <laughs> you can say this is normal definitely definitely normal dead bastard you bloody bastard bitch bloody fuck you bitch bloody bastard server's not loading but the game will still go on oh uh, grant you see that even when an observer's not loading in it disconnects and the game still goes on but what a, what a feature all right we're on uh, heck no gems in mid marco against how seven i'm just gonna call him how just to make it a little bit easier for me marco in the yellow bottom right how seven pretty in pink top left let's see how this goes give me a moment sorry Okay, let's see how this goes. No gems in mid means there will be no mid rush. Uh, this is original hack as well, so of course I'm gonna have to either build another rex or kill some trees. So it looks like uh, how's Mogus MCV across that. Pretty sure he messed up his build. He could build one space, one space more, and then he could build across it with a power plant. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Avira. So this build from Marco, very typical, on to the right hand side. Uh, outdated build, so called. But how seven, very interesting to move his MCV over and then planting another ref there. Uh, he can build down as well once uh, he's there. I've got four minus each. Uh, double drone from Marco. So we'll see where that goes. Marco, good drone defense. And uh, how seven's drone does go down. Yeah, exactly. You tend to move your MTV, yeah. <laughs> we got dummy, Luke. Alright, so double drone from Marco. Uh, one drone does... is still... sorry, both drones still there. I wonder what the choice is from Marco here. One drone does go in! I think Marco might be using that second drone to... Uh, get the MCV if it does move again. Looks like how goes for another drone as well, so as you pull out or how to repair that drone to miner. And it comes Let's another drone here. Awesome Let's go, dude! Like Richard Risa. Yeah, this build from how is interesting. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's interesting. Uh you can just build across the tree, but he chose to move his MCV and it's gonna build down from there. Uh, it does mean that he sacrificed just a little bit of mining time. It looks like he's gonna move all the way down as well. Marco looking to build down. This is a very, very old build from Marco. Uh, for original heck. Yeah, he plays his wall factory one tile f uh, short, which is why he had to move his MCV. But we got three wall factories for Marco, two for Hao, and eight minus for Hao, seven for Marco. <laughs> yeah, I think you did already secure some money. Legend, are you- Legend, you're welcome for me convincing you to join back the tournament. And you're welcome for Latov to quit out as well. Latov quit out of the tournament and I convinced Legend to come back and play. I told him because even if you lose, you get some money. <laughs> I'll pay into surgery. <laughs> Yeah, Legend, I, I owe 50% for Agent Fee's commission, right? Alright, how looking to split on the right hand side here? Three runners on the right. Marco has built down all the way. Uh, he does see that split though, he does prime that wolf factory. Unfortunately, just three rhinos on that right hand side. Uh, left hand side of our house trying to solidify the position on the left. My right knees? What happened to your right knee? You've been on your knees too much, Legend? Oh, okay. Interesting. Legend has been on his knees. 
So we got four wars to three here. How getting another four four factory up? But this is very very typical of an old build here. Uh, special next with the left side there. The positioning on the left side uh, by the entrance to that cliff is very important for the top player uh, because top left is such a disadvantageous spot. Uh, players can often abuse that cliff on the left hand side. Oh, Mikos, we had a we had a Chinese Mikos earlier on. He beat Kors in two games. Some uncles pushing forward on the left hand side there, trying to engage on the middle though. How did try to split on the right hand side as well? That's a small split, but Marco again really really quick to react to that split. Left side, left side, left side, left side. Marco winning that fight as well. It's gonna use that cliff advantage. How is smart not to engage for the engage that even though he does out tank Marco there. So first engagement already going towards Marco on the left side, right side. How still trying to split, but only three rhinos. He should uh, commit a little bit more rhinos than three, uh, unless you're trying to just pull away some micro away from Marco, which is a little bit weird to say. Marco doesn't often get out micro unless it's Woody. So still on the left side here, Marco out tanking. How? I was on 10 minus now, Marco's still on 9. Flag coming, so flag fodder coming in. The drone though is still available for Marco. I wonder where that is. Is it gonna go into that MCV on the top right hand side where Marco is? Uh, sorry, how is expanding? Split on the right side, bottom right goes down. Marco already moves to MCV. Oh, the drone is right there, so it doesn't go into that MCV. Marco seems to be building all the way towards the left hand side, but eventually just moved his MCV anyway. Uh, uh, speed up that process just a little bit. Good minus spread though from how he does have two patches. A third one patch, third patch about to come in. Marco's spreading on the right hand side as well, leaving three runners behind. There you go, even more coming in on the way. Yeah, how he's playing that is, but the build is a little bit sus. That's for sure. Observer, keep up, Observer. There we go. Yeah, Marco's builds again, pretty much picture perfect. Marco looking to snipe some miners as well. One miner does go down. Second miner about to get sniped. How is very late, and again, that build there. The rhinos were blocked by the buildings, and how is trying to go in down towards the bottom left as well. But Marco out tanking how there. I was not gonna get out of there alive, that's for sure. How trying to move towards no, that's Marco's stance in the middle. How retreating on that left side. Marco retreating down towards the middle, how chasing him shortly behind. Uh, Marco might want to be careful there. Couple minutes might get sniped. Marco pushing it down towards the top left. And finally, Marco primes that uh, war factory nearby, that engagement. And how pushing Marco all the way back here on this left side into an onslaught there. How Marco just sitting still. Meanwhile, how doing some damage down towards the bottom middle. Pushing all the way through and the elite coming up for Marco as well. As I said, those are the only two three players that are playing. Bottom left, how does not manage to snipe any of the miners. Uh Latov uh decided not to play after he uh, experienced some lag on Rambo. Oh boy. How is playing really nicely, but it's just letting them down on some time control here. That MCB does get sold down on top right and split coming down towards the right hand side as well. Marco again seeing that split, choosing to prime war factories instead of sending a couple rhinos over there. And he's pushing Hao back on the left hand side as well. Hao still trying to push through here, but to no avail. Marco out tanking by about twice now. There we go. GG. First point goes towards Marco. And this best of seven, first to four. Uh, one of the most maps exactly. This this middle rush is very very hard to very hard to uh, very hard to combat. Oh okay. Looks like how doesn't rush MCV in middle. Marco's gonna be the one rushing MCV in the middle. Okay. Okay. Battalion level. Okay. So how how good is he, boy? How good is he compared to uh compared to like who would you compare him against? Who does he on similar level to? If it's someone I know. 
Kevin in the middle, exactly. So Marco does make the MCV rush towards the middle. I like that MCV placement as well. Uh, it just helps with a little bit more security. And obviously you're going to build there anyway. So it's not... Uh, you don't fully commit to moving your MCV right next to the gems. That means that if you do need to pull out, you can pull out and you have that cliff uh, for a little bit of more security. So Middle Rush does get scouted. And how building the War Factory against that cliff to build down if he needs to. He's now going to move to his mid to contest. But has to be wary though, Marco. War Factory on the way, he might even get droned. If he's not careful. Can he make it in time? Can he make it in time? Can he get a drone out in time? I don't think so. If he had a dog to body block, maybe. But no, I don't think he will get a drone in time. Yeah, there you go. The drone will most definitely go into the Rhino though. Alright, so... Oh, good drone defense there. So... <clears throat> Markold's rush into middle here. Doing uh, pretty good. Two miners down into middle. He does go zero from the War Factory, obviously, because he was late on his build. How goes for a... MCV fodder? MCV fodder? What? Surely not. Marco can just micro that away. Oh, but Marco isn't microing. Marco isn't microing. Marco wasn't microing there. There are sentry guns. So the sentry guns will help a lot here, but Marco wasn't my Marco wasn't microing for that split second. That was almost disastrous for Marco. You saw the rhino sort of turn towards that MCV. Or maybe Marco <laughs> purposely didn't target the MCV, but the sentry guns from Marco was so so <laughs> instrumental there in his in his uh, defense and in, in his hold. Yeah, how didn't Ma Marco either? He was attacking the miners, but then again, Marco now out tanked. War Factory goes down for Marco. Sentry guns does get destroyed. And on the back of that, Marco now in shambles. He doesn't isn't building anything, but the, the sentry guns again doing a lot of work. Marco not building a war factory. That's not true, but now being pulled out. Miner goes down. Finally, Marco rebuilds a war factory. Pulls away that miner. That's not true, bro. Seems like we're another one heading besides for the hospital instead of Tino. <laughs> Tell you what, though, Marco is holding really well the elite Tesla Trooper. Uh, no, that's an elite conscript, sorry. But the Tesla Trooper there doing all the work. Marco needs to dump on one gold here. Just to get a War Factory up. Should even cancel that Sentry Gun, actually. There you go, War Factory is ready. And how on the back of this doesn't have the... MCV, so it is game pretty much game over for him with no eco. Marco winning a second game here. What the fuck did I just see? Marco almost threw that away, man. Marco Stranger Chinese player, yeah. Ah, exactly, exactly, Miri, exactly. You got this fans me. <laughs> oh my god, Marco, what the fuck? What the fuck is this swan doing in the middle of my screen? Get the fuck away. I <laughs> this I shit my pants on a date last week and still got late. Unbelievable. On a date last week? Wait, didn't? Don't you have a girlfriend? Luke? What? Alright, divide and conquer. Bottom left and top right here. How picking divide and conquer? You don't have a girlfriend? Not anymore. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. I feel ya. Feel ya. So Marco pretty in pink, bottom left, how in bright blue, top right. So again, how just kind of panicking a little bit. Uh, both players not microing, but I think Marco got out of the situation there better. I, I'm interested and very, very want to know why how didn't go and kill the miner when he had four rhinos and Marco had none. Was he too afraid of that Tesla Trooper? Maybe, I don't know. But it's probably a case of being in the moment itself. 
obviously i can see everything right i can think of everything but players when when you're playing it's a different game it's different gravy it's uh it's, it's, it's a lot more different and you don't think of <laughs> and it's not uh not you don't see things as clearly when you're playing, right? You're too clouded with a judgement, anxiety comes around. So it's, it's a different game, so I can understand why the panic does come in a little bit. It literally allowed him to mind when he had 5 things just 1 tells the trooper. Exactly, exactly, boss. But it's hard to say, man, it's hard to say. When you're going up against someone like Kevin... It's hard. Imagine... You are an intermediate or a top 20 player in Rambo, right? You come into a tournament and they tell you, oh, you're playing against Kevin slash Marco, the number one player on TNT. How are you not fucking shitting your pants at that scene? Like, come on. Exactly, Marco is the godfather of RA2. The dude has been dominating the ladder and dominating the re2 cnc net scene for years now on for years man so i can understand why people kind of kind of shake up when they're the playing against marco marco do it for example tim so people end up losing after yeah exactly exactly but that being said though marco and legend are still undefeated in 2v2s uh john i was uh they was trying to set up uh Woody and Shen, I think this is Marco and uh, Legend, but Black doesn't didn't allow that. Alright, so 77 minus here, two more factories each. Marco again with a very nice build, almost near perfect. Uh house build is real Go going around. Oh, God damn it. Uh. Go. House build is uh, going towards the side of the map where he has a clear, uh, there's a clear off map oil. I don't know where how is building towards it. He's a, I don't know where he's building. He should have been building towards the middle gems or middle gold. He doesn't seem to be building. Marco's gonna have a perfect ref, perfect ref. Sorry, the top side there. And he moved his MCV anyway. So what, what, the, what, the point, what was the point of that build? Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Hello, bird. So his MCV did get droned. He had to pull it back to uh, repair it, which is why it's damaged. But how is making a very aggressive move there on the left side, trying to deny and killing the gems. Trying to deny Marco from moving all the way. Look at that build from Marco. Left side of the gold. Who the fuck would do that, man? Who the fuck would do that? I've never seen that build. Your 100k points. <laughs> Evan Seberg is a true believer. So on the right side there, Hal moving his MCV towards the middle patch. He finishes the rest of the gems. No splits anywhere so far. We've got four wall factories, five wall factories to three. Marco's broke, so he's gonna have to micro his minus a little bit here. Uh, too bad the end of stream is 150 channel, channel points. Oh, yeah, yeah, you betted against Snark, right? And you won. That's why. So, we got 23, 24 rhinos, pretty even. Fodder is in the way of Marco. Uh, house miners though are running dry. They're gonna have to micro it a little bit better towards the bottom right hand side. Oh, Marco. Pushing in all the way through, but I don't know whether that's the right decision here. Fodder coming in for Marco. House still holding on, but that fodder does make a difference here for Marco. And he is gonna win that fight. The fodder made all that difference there, but Marco pushed up the cliff. How was forced to push up the cliff as well and Marco brought in the fodder at that stage and when you're moving it's pretty much impossible to individually target rhinos because you are moving and if you stop uh you'll be targeted so go to Marco there but Marco's still pushing all the way forward here might have been an overcommitment he doesn't have rhinos in the backfield now he does and there you go how goes GG that's 3-0 now 
to Marco, a very, very dominant and very nice stand control. All right, is how gonna load in? There we go, now he's loading in. And on to Kevin's of Siberia, we go. Yeah, again, I, I don't think Hal knows that Kevin's is literally one of Marco's favorite maps, and he is starting down towards bottom left. I believe his preferred starting point is top left, uh, or anywhere along the top, but not to worry how is starting on the top right there with a better build this time as compared to uh, Misaka that we saw previously versus Kuos, where he messed up that power plant build. But again, Kevin's Marco's backyard. We'll see how how does uh, deal with Marco and Kevin's. It's like dealing with um, it's like dealing with a water type Pokemon in a in an ocean. You know, you're, you're at a disadvantage. It's like dealing with a fire bender when it's in the middle of noon. It's like dealing with a water bender in the middle of the night where they get power from the moon. So you're you're in someone's backyard, basically, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and I was gonna have to pull out something out of the bag to beat Marco on his favorite map. Let's see how this goes. I don't see how he can come back from this. <laughs> oh, Miri is... Miri, let yourself out. Let yourself out. In fact, Miri. In fact, Miri. Just for that stupid ass joke. That's what you get. You get timed out for 30 seconds. Horrible pun. Not allowing that on my channel. <laughs> So anyways, back to the game here. Three minus for Marco. One minor for how? How is he that far back? How is he that far behind? Oh, he does uh, keep up anyway with the three minus. How could you time it? <laughs> Bug, do you want to get timed that as well? <laughs> God damn all of you. God damn all of you. So there I go four minus. Looks like how wasn't that uh, far behind. Just uh, Marco was just a little bit quicker, I think. They're right, getting drone there from Marco. He is getting the gems as well. Here, can you, you can talk now. 30 seconds is over. Service depart from Marco. Pretty simple stuff. Marco now on 6 minus. That drone is still wanting to go in. Oh, that was unlucky for Marco. The drone stopped. The drone stopped. And with that drone down, drone gone, how will be able to move down that cliff with the MCV? Oh my god, Muri, please talk. You're, you're worrying. You can talk. If that was Zed, making that joke and I time Zed out, Zed would be spamming my DMs right now. Like, what the fuck, dude? That was, that was uncalled for. It was just a small joke. And there comes the exclamation point Zed. Complains about random shit that no one cares about. So Marco's on two war factories here. You, Yuri, how? Sorry, how? Still on one war factory. The double war. Five minus to three. Eight minus to seven. I think Marco did move his MCV, so he will get an eight minor pretty soon. There we go. Oh, oh my God, that was close from Marco. The drones evaded all of the rhino shots. Oh my God, the rhinos were miss kept missing. I know kept missing and eventually it did go down, but Marco did get the deployer beforehand. So Marco getting a third war factory, yep. How pushing into the middle for some map control. And another drone coming in from Marco. Around the back, oh look at that micro from both of them. How pulling away a micro, pulling away a uh, Marco, pulling away as well. That's good. This is good from Marco. He's uh, forcing one minor not to mine. And on the back of that, he pushes into his middle, draws into fodder. It looks like that drone is still alive here. How it has one minor controlled on it. And down it goes. That minor, I think, will be AFK now. Oh dear. So Marco in a good position. How not the worst positions. Zakao is moving his MCV down towards the middle side, so he's doing, he's doing better than we thought 
But Marco is uh, a little bit more dominant on caverns towards the later side of the game when the splits and everything else do come in. But how does have the map control at the moment down towards the middle? Refs coming up for both players, so nice when about to come out. Uh, Marco should be moving his MCV towards the bottom right here after getting that ref out. Forward right as well, there you go, there's the MCV move. No drone on the field, so four factories now for Marco. Clear advantage at the moment. Eco not doing good for how? Marco's Eco doing okay. Seven rounds to 22. Look at the amount of fodder for how? Oh my god. Twice as many dogs that he has rhinos. So maybe learning a little bit from Mikos here, but then again, fodder is pretty much useless unless if your opponent knows how to micro. And if we know Marco, he does know how to micro. So we'll see how that goes. Go back to his middle. Observer, observer, you're missing it. God damn it. So I completely with Matt here. Marco pushing all the way forward, squishes the fodder. But Rhino numbers are pretty even at this stage, Marco. High Rhino number count. He is going to push How all the way back. And there we go. Marco winning that tank fight. He's going to push all the way through. Yeah, I don't know whether How knows any naval maps. Uh, it's interesting that I didn't pick any. So many dogs for How, but again, fodder. Dog fodder does not matter if your opponent knows how to micro. And Marco, his middle name is Micro. And he does win the series 4-0. And Marco does go through. So all three players, Quas, Legend, and Marco will go through to the round of 16. GG, boys.